SJYZ on the brochure again. <laughs> SJYZ is a place for We got a big tournament. We got the best songs of 2023 so far. Coming after the um, halfway line in this year, after June. It's gonna be music after and even during this period. You know, Travis Scott is actually dropping Utopia on the 28th or the 21st. Um, we're gonna do reactions to that as well. I guess for now is a whole different thing though. Let's get into the bracket. <laughs> we're gonna start off biasedly. So the way that this is gonna work is we've got the bias round, then we got 10 seconds of audio, then 30 seconds of audio from the 30 seconds into the song, one minute fr from the one minute into that song, full song, then full song for the last choice, then that'll decide the winner. But obviously this time, for this episode or whatever you want to call this, this video, we have the bias round. So we're just gonna go off what we already think of the songs. Starting off by All My Life by Lil Dirt versus Princess Diana by Ice Spice. All right, so this is very easy, but there's no disrespect to the Ice Spice song. I feel in All My Life, it starts off with this nice chorus and then you've got the children's choir that's like, All My Life, and uh, that's fire. It reminds me of like, um, like Toy Soldiers by Eminem, but uh, modern trap era. That was actually a cool Eminem back in them days as well. You don't really get a cool Eminem anymore. J. Cole is on the song, you know, he doesn't disappoint usually, especially like since 2014, Forest Hill Drive. So I'm gonna have to go all my life. Suicide Doors versus Dog Tooth by Tyler. I don't really remember Suicide Doors like that. I did get most of these songs from either Intensified Charts, I think. I think it was Intensified Charts. I know that it was a little Uzi on Pink Tape. I'm probably gonna have to go with Dogtooth. Even though that wasn't my favorite off that Tyler album. I do feel like Dogtooth probably was better than the, like at least 40% of what we had Pink Tape. So I'm just gonna go Dogtooth. Basil Tron by BLP Kosher versus Split by Yeet. I'm gonna go with the BLP Kosher song. Fuck You Mean by Gunner versus Boys A Liar Part 2. I do think Boys A Liar sticks out more as a song than Fuck You Mean does. Um, I do feel like Gunner did have a decent comeback, but Boys A Liar stayed relevant for the whole of the year. And it's not like, oh, this is just a TikTok song. I do feel like it's, it's got good arrangement too. I'm gonna have to give it to Boys of Light Part 2. Doomsday by Lyrical Lemonade versus If Looks Could Kill by Destroy Lonely. I think If Looks Could Kill has a cool aesthetic, but I don't plan on listening to it anytime soon. It was kind of boring, the album that it was on. Um, Doomsday though, Doomsday was cool. I think it, was, it had a nice music video. It was just a bar out over an m and m video. It was a posthumous juice oil release that actually was a real decent one. I'm not just milking him. And Corday, Corday was cool. So I'm gonna have to go with Doomsday. Off the Court by Sleazywell Gong Polo G versus Moveless by Killer Mike. I think the Killer Mike album was actually like mid, very, very mid. Off the Court by Sleazywell Go. That was a good song. I do feel like it was a hard trap banger. However, Killer Mike is mid, very overrated and underrated at the same time. Um, but Moveless did actually stick out to me. I do prefer the production of Moveless. I'm gonna let him go through. Area Codes by Kali versus Search and Rescue by Drake. The Search and Rescue song by Drake that, that I don't like that song to be fair, it's not good mixed, it's very like, it sounded like the AI songs that has been coming up. I'm gonna have to go area codes. We got Strike by Lil Yachty versus Go Hard by Lil Baby. And I do feel like Strike Holster was probably like better than most of the songs that we had on the 
Oh, what's it called? The album? Let's start here. I do feel like Strike it was the better song out of all of them. Um, and it wasn't even on the album. It was just they released after the album. And I was shown the album. So I'm going to go straight. Now we got Change by Flo versus IG by Pierre. And I do feel like Pierre Bourne did, it, did himself right with this production. Uh, usually he will drop mid songs. It was, but even with Flo, they dropped mid songs on the, uh, the EP that they dropped. But Change did actually hit harder. I'm going to have to go with Change. We got King Snipe by Gucci Mane versus 16 by Beer. And I'm going to go 16 by Beer. Hustler by Sydney Drake versus Lipstick Lover by Janelle Monáe. And the both like this kind of tropical Caribbean song, Afro B. Um, and it would make sense to go with Sydney Drake with Hustler because the choir is fine. But I just thought about like all the elements that Janelle Monáe has with Lipstick Lover. And I do think it might actually hit harder. But do listen to Hustle the Bison and Drake. I'm Geeking by DDG versus Florida Water by Danny Towers. I'm gonna have to go I'm Geeking. Florida Water was cool, but it wasn't even like. It was Ski Mask was on that song and it didn't even deliver the way that Ski Mask should. Homosexual by Daniel Caesar versus Love Drunk by Don Corleo. Um, actually. You know, that Daniel Caesar album was good. It was like a 7 out of 10. Not the best of all year. I do think Cali UG takes that title. But I do like the arrangement on Homosexual. I just think that Love Drunk by Don Corleo hits harder with the sample and then the way he's got the vocal chops like on Fashion, Killer by I Said Rocky. Um, into this plug and BB, it it's definitely harder. Embarrassed by Don Tolliver versus What a Day of the Part by Tyler the Creator. Oh damn. I don't actually remember how Tyler was rapping on What a Day of the Part, but I do like the sample that he had. But with Embarrassed, I think it might hit some more solid. And you know, Tyler's one of my favorite rappers to be fair. Actually my favorite rapper. Favorite artist. Drake's my favorite rapper. Um Now, that's actually difficult. I do think I'm gonna have to go on Barris though. Colin by Metro Boomin versus Phantom by Bakusa. I think that's how you say it. Um, you know, the Spider Man met into the one of the verses, and Metro Boomin did the whole soundtrack. He did it right. A lot of them songs were cool, but they were just like movie songs, so they didn't really like stick out like that. So I think I'm gonna have to go Phantom by Pakusa. It's actually an underground song um, to people that I haven't listened to. And it's like this take on garage music back in the day. I do feel like it hits harder. Now we got The Hillbillies by Kendra Lamar and Baby Keem versus What It Is by Dochi. The Hillbillies by Baby Keem and Kendra Lamar. <laughs> Lion To by Amaria versus Put It On The Floor Again by Lato. I did like the production in Lion 2 by Amaria, I like the saxophone, I like the fact that it's R&B, you know, female R&B as well. Versus put it on the floor though, I think it stands out more. And I can actually remember like what happens in put it on the floor, rather than having to go back into the song, which I would have to do for Amaria. But Amaria next up, definitely. Sprinter by Central C and Dave. Versus Imagine by Young Chris. I'm gonna go Sprinter by Central C and Dave. We got OUM by Young Thug. Versus Letter to Take Off by Gucci Mane. Shout out to the Take Off tribute. RIP Take Off. Shout out to Gucci Mane. I think I'm gonna have to go OUM though. Cause I think that was the best song on the album. If I'm not mistaken. Now we got Go To by Omani White. Versus Am I Dreaming by Metro Boomin. And I'm gonna go Go To by Omani White. Wish You The Best by Louis Capaldi versus Stack It Up by Kenny Mason. Stack It Up by Kenny Mason, that's the one with Patrick Pat, I think. White Crocs by Jordan Ward versus No Pole by Dan Tolliver. And I'm gonna go White Crocs. V Up by Me 
This is somebody else by Vito. I'll let you listen to Vito, but I'm gonna listen to somebody else. Now we got Forever by K. Trinata versus Don't Leave by Winnie. You should listen to Don't Leave by Winnie, but I'm gonna choose Forever by K. Trinata. Colors by Trippy Red versus Heaven on Earth by J. Pan Mafia and Danny Brown. Um, I like the choir in the background of Heaven on Earth, but I think Colors is the one that defines 2023 for me. It was like the best song on that whole album that was terrible. Um, <laughs> European Dream by Coaches versus Worth It by Ray. I'm gonna go Worth It by Ray. Side to Side by Kenny Mason versus I'm by RMC Mike. I'm gonna go I'm by. Cool by Daniel Caesar versus Terms and Conditions by Mahalia. Terms and Condition by Mahalia. Schmunk by Yeet versus Dirt by Keyglock. I'm gonna go Dirt by Keyglock. Zoom by Uzi versus Take My Bre Took My Breath Away by Trippy Red. Damn. <laughs> Zoom by Uzi is cool. I wish it was in place of suicide bullets. That's crazy. I think I might have to actually go zoom though. I think I'm, I'm gonna go zoom. I'm waiting for a little bit to you five. K and A by K Chanada versus Only Have Eyes for Two, Janelle Monae. And I'm gonna go. Oh, I do like your ego got an ego now. Your ego got a chain. I do like that ball. But I think Only Has Only Have Eyes for Two. Um, that's one of my favorite of all year. Like Her 2 by Mario versus Moonlight by Kali Uchis. I'm gonna go Mario. I'm gonna go Moonlight by Kali Uchis. Alright, that's the end of episode one of this bracket. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, peace, and I'll see you in the next one.